Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 53 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with a list of things we're going to need today and every single day of this challenge. Also a list of everything we're going to need for the first 100 days and some of the items we're going to start using after day 100. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get into it. Time for our first break. All right, these breaks are gonna be a bit different because we're gonna be doing cab races while the timer goes on. All right. Oof. Already almost a little bit of water. Started drinking while I was at work. Third, my third bottle of the day, and it is now 5 p.m. I know you're probably not watching at 5 p.m. <laughs> Tell me what time it is now. But yes, I start, started drinking lots of water because I knew today's exercise was gonna be very energy demanding might not seem like it but since uh, your legs are some of the biggest muscles in your body they will drain most of the energy we are working them out as hard as we are planning on we're definitely gonna need to be hydrated 15 seconds to go in our break and we're gonna go from here to lunch as well. You saw it on the first few seconds of the video, <laughs> what the exercise was gonna be. So here we go.
right, time for our second break. Whew. And that's an example why you should never skip leg day. <laughs> oh. Hopefully my legs will work after today's exercise. And again, hydration is very important all the time, not just when you are working out, before or after, always is important. However, when you're doing cardio and or heavy lifting, Especially on leg day, you need to be well hydrated. Also fact, when it's cold, it is very easy to get dehydrated. Because you think, because it's cold, you're not gonna need water or fluids you actually do because you get dehydrated and you don't really notice it so make sure you're hydrated all the time and keep an eye on that when it's cold all right here we go again Third break. Oh, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Whew. Well, today is another short video. <laughs> Looks like videos are gonna get shorter and shorter every day. <laughs> you can cross off oh I don't have time there's plenty of time if you have 15 minutes if you have 20 minutes to spare you can do these exercises right in the bathroom right before you go in the shower or right in front of the bed as soon as you wake up now personally I'm not a morning person so you can tell when I'm recording this video is in the morning. <laughs> I'm not the most chatty person in the morning. So I usually don't work out before I go to work. Usually not. It depends on what my day is going to be. <sighs> but usually I work out afternoon or at night time. Um, now, if I work, like, say, second shift or first or third shift, um, I'll probably will, will work out after work, which will be early in the morning. Not that I, like, woke up to exercise. <laughs> hey, but that's me. I'm not a morning person. Anyway, let's talk in more detail. Here we go.
let's take a little break before we go. Do a few more calf raises. And notice that calf raises I'm doing are a completely flat surface. That's because we're starting it. <laughs> we're starting these leg exercises now. I know we were doing squats before. But nothing as intense. Nothing as intense as this. If you're falling alone, you know what I'm talking about. Woo! Especially for us beginners, right? That's right. All right, everyone. That's definitely it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.